Gorman looked pretty good. Gorman looked good. Down 14 nothing. No thing. Yeah, I was. I mean, we were chatting that night. Yeah. Thinking about could they go down, but I don't think they did. Yeah. All right, we are live on Facebook. I am Steve Montoya with Zach Poff. We're breaking down our excellent 25 football rankings presented by the Army National Guard. And, and Zach, uh, what stood out to you this weekend? What stood out to me was is Bishop Gorman, the number one team in the country, a very resilient bunch, mm -hmm. down 14 nothing early in that one. But they outscored St. John Bosco 35 to six after that point. And uh, another team I've been very impressed with, there's two, Mountain Point, the boys out in Arizona, and Washington, D.C. Power, St. John's big time win against St. Joseph Regional. All right, let's bring up the full top 25 so we can break down this list. And who's new this week, Zach? 24 and 25, you got the boys from the 808, Kahuku High School and Mission Viejo, the guys down in SoCal from the 949. They come in this week, Katie lost, and Booker T. Washington lost in shocking yeah, fashion. Big. So those are the two new teams this week. But uh, very impressed with Bishop Gorman once again, too. Yeah, and modern day moving up as yeah. the number one team in California, number three overall. All right, we want to hear your comments. We got our iPad right here. We want to know about some teams that maybe we've missed or just teams inside the top 25. Yeah. Your feelings, we'll try to get to those on air. But let's dive in to the game of the week yeah. last week. Yeah, and we got the highlights cut up here for Bishop Gorman. And uh, I was very impressed with that guy right there, Tate. Martell. Mm -hmm. He showed in big time games when his team needs him, he's going to ball out. Now, hey, you know, they got this thing called Dilfer Dimes. I think when we're talking about Tate Martell, we can just call it Tom Brady Dimes because he was doing that the entire game. Finished the night with four touchdowns. Now, I know, Steve, you're going to like this. You love defense. That was a difference, though, in this one. Yep. Was Bishop Gorman's defense stood out, especially in the second half? Gorman outscored Bosco on the road down in Southern California, 21 nothing. So that was the difference there. All right, we get to some comments now. Uh, Catherine asking, "Did you see that the Woodlands beat Katie? Yeah. What a game!" We were Very, touching on that, and that's why yeah. Katie fell out of the rankings this week. Big time win for the Woodlands. Yeah, very unusual for Katie to fall two games already. Yeah, but, one and two. But, uh, you know, the, the, they'll be back in it for sure. Miles giving a shout-out to John F. Kennedy High yeah. School beating Rosemont. That's a Sac Joaquin section. Go Cougars from him. <laughs> and then Bill wants to know, why don't we give Cast Tech any airtime? <laughs> Cast Tech's good, man. They got Donovan Peoples-Jones, the number one wide receiver in the the 2017 class. He is must watch TV. And Cast Tech, number one team in all of Michigan, right there in the top 25, number 18. I tell you what, next week we're going to talk about <laughs> Cast Tech, baby. We got you. All right. All right, let's dive back in. We'll get to some more comments here later on in the show, but let's talk about some teams making some giant leaps or just some big movement in yeah. this week's rankings and all starts out in Arizona, right? Yeah, Mountain Point, man. They went from 20 to 12 after their impressive 52 to 7 win against Arizona Power, Chandler, big time rivalry. Now, remember Chandler hung in there with Corona Centennial. They lost 56-49, and that same Corona Centennial team only lost by one to number two IMG Academy. Mountain Point beat that same team 52-7. to Now, some big time playmakers for Mountain Point. It all starts with Isaiah Polamau, four-star safety, one of the best two-way players in the country. You see his younger brother right there, Matthew Polamau, top recruit, one of the top recruits in the 2019 class. He's an absolute force. They, of course, football genes run in that family. They're the nephew of Troy Polamalu, former USC star. Yeah, he's pretty good. And uh, two-time Super Bowl winner. Gary Bragg, though. I love this kid. One of the most underrated running backs in the country. So far this year, he's balled for 545 yards and seven touchdowns in only three games. So, Mountain Point, in my opinion, they're one of the best overall teams. A great defense, a great offense, very good on special teams, and uh, easily the number one team in all of Arizona and I felt they were the most impressive in the top 25 win wise beating Chandler so handily 52 to 7 that's why they jumped up eight spots all the way to
at 12. Yeah, and if you remember, Chandler put uh, Corona Centennial. That was a heck of a game yeah, earlier in the year. it was 49-49 with two minutes left, and Chandler had it first and goal. Couldn't score, and then Centennial went down and scored the game-winning touchdown. But Chandler is a big-time team, and Mountain Point dominated that game. They're up 52 nothing at one point. Yeah, and then Corona Centennial takes IMG down yeah, to the wire. Yeah. So it just shows you Mountain Point, like you said, definitely yeah. a team on the rise. All right, East Forthus, uh, Forsyth getting some shout-outs right now. Yeah. We'll give them some love. Uh, how about uh, Odessa Permian out of Texas? If you think Texas football, Odessa Permian yeah. comes to, comes we'll to mind miles, there. Right? Yeah, that's right. Cole Rain, what do you think about Cole Rain? They're looking pretty good. And they've shown without their top player, Amir Reef, they can still win ball games. A very impressive 6 nothing win last week against Cincinnati Power at LaSalle. So Cole Rain doing things. The, the thing with Cole Rain, though, right now, if they get that offense going, Cole Rain, a very, very scary team. But you see right there on the screen, they're number 13 in the excellent 25 rankings presented by the Army National Guard. But uh, Amir Reef, though, he's an Ohio State commit. Hasn't really played much here this season. So if he gets on track, watch out for Cole Ray. All right, another team that you're really liking right now is St. John's out of D.C. Yeah, St. John's big time. Now, impressive win last week on the road against St. Joseph Regional, the number one team in all of New Jersey. And just a big time road win. Now, St. John's, they've already beat Pittsburgh Power Central Catholic this year. And that was a 35-14 win. And now another double digit win against a big time program. This time, though, they were down 10 to 7 in the fourth, 14 unanswered points. And Steve, they're one of the most talented teams in the country. You got Kasim Hill throwing the rock. He's a four-star Maryland commit. Calvin Ashley, one of the best offensive linemen in the country. He's a five-star Auburn commit. On defense, they're loaded. You got Cam Spence, Tyree Johnson, and Shane Lee. Lee, one of the top recruits in the 2019 class. He's the number one inside linebacker. They got IMG and X, though. Yep. Now, th that game's going to be loaded with talent all over the field. And uh, a lot of people think IMG are unbeatable, but... Uh I wouldn't be surprised if St. John's was able to hand IMG their first loss of the season this weekend. Ooh, those are big words. But I'm not going out too far on the way. I'm not going to say you're saying St. John's There's has a chance. A chance. Okay. Yeah, if they limit turnovers and penalties, I, I think they got a good chance to uh, beat the number two team in the country. All right, let's bring the rankings back up. Perfect timing right there. A couple people want to know what's new in the rankings. And just to recap, we're breaking down the excellent 25 rankings presented by the Army National Guard. Number 25, number 24, new to the top. 25 this week in terms of fresh new teams in the list. Yeah, and Kahuku, the first team from Hawaii to crack the rankings this year. And Kahuku, man, they're, they're big time. One of the best defenses in the country. And they out, they've outscored the opposition this year, 254 to 22. 5 and 0 this year. They're coming off an 83 to nothing shutout win against Radford. Eight, what, what was the title? 80, 83 oh. to nothing. I mean, <laughs> hey, you're not going to see 83 to nothing every weekend. No. Guess who they get next week though, Steve? I don't think it's going to be 83 to nothing. Yeah, I don't I don't know if they're going to be able to get another <laughs> shutout win. They got to come to Vegas and they got to play the number 1 team in the country, Bishop Gorman. Now, you know, I don't I don't know if they're going to be able to win this game. Mhm. Mm but I do believe that this game will be a lot closer than people think. Kahuku, man, they're, they're loaded with a lot of big time players, but the thing I love most about Kahuku, they play as one, not individuals. Yeah. Very good team. And you know, man, Samoans are tough. Hawaiian boys are tough. They're going to be ready to go with Vegas. Yep, they're going to come into Nevada, take on the number one team in the nation. That's yeah. going to be a big time game for sure. Uh, as Bishop Gorman, pretty much their whole schedule yeah. until they get into to league I mean, is brutal, even though their league's pretty tough too. So. It's remarkable too with Gorman. I mean, Texas, week one, check. Yep. Florida, week two, check. California, week three, check. Now they got Hawaii. And then a couple weeks after that, they got St. Thomas Aquinas. So. I mean, there, there's no uh, easy ones for Coach Sanchez and the Gales. All right, let's talk about uh, the game of the weekend. A couple, some games that stood out to you or yeah. are standing out to you uh, moving forward or looking back. Yeah, let's go back to uh, actually that DeSoto game yep. from last week. I wanted to touch on that. Now, DeSoto, the number one team in all of Texas. They're number four in the excellent 25 rankings. And this was a crazy game. Midland, big time team out in Texas also. They were up 28-14 in the first half. And even with two minutes left, Midland booted a 51-yard field goal to take a 43-41 lead, but they left too much time on the clock for Sean Robinson. Led them on a seven-play, 65-yard drive. 
he put up insane numbers. I know a lot of people are playing fantasy this week. Yep. There's no fantasy in high school. <laughs> but if you would have had Sean Robinson, you would have been happy. 276 yards passing, 203 yards rushing, seven touchdowns. Sean Robinson, he's been big time for DeSoto. And uh, they had a scare, but Sean Robinson kept their perfect season alive. And uh, they get a week off. Yeah. Then it's the battle of Beltline coming up against Cedar Hill and arguably the number one rivalry game in all of Texas. Yeah, it seems like DeSoto, if you're going to go watch one of their, their games, yeah. you're going to get your money's worth exactly. every time you're watching. All right. Uh, Demi says, keep an eye on West Lynn out of Oregon, the number one team in okay. the state. They're we'll coached by former University of Oregon Duck QB Chris Miller, so they want you to watch out for that team, number one team in the state in on Oregon. It. So we're going to keep an eye out on that. There's a shout out here for Allen, Texas. Yeah. Allen's always in the mix. Yeah, if we They're bring back our... the rankings real quick. Bam, 16. Yeah, that's pretty good right there. Uh, shout out right back at you, Michael. I uh, got you covered there. And now let's get into one of the new teams. Uh, we, we hit on them a little bit earlier, but number 25, another California team joining the fun, Mission Viejo. Yeah, Mission Viejo, 3-0 this year. Now, they haven't lost a game in two-plus years. They've won 31 consecutive. Bob Johnson, legendary head coach, one of the best in all of high school football. He led them to a CIF division won double a state title last year shutting out Bellarmine prep 24 nothing and they've come out firing all cylinders this year they're led by matter day modern day transfer quarterback matthew mcdonald he's been big time this year they got a big time receiver austin osborne four star wide out a lot of people think he's going to go to oregon but the guy i love is the son of warren g elijah griffin four star cornerback mm -hmm. one of the best playmakers in the country he does it on both sides of the rock but he's he makes his money on defense he's a shut down cornerback they get long beach poly next though so yeah, gonna be a big be a good one test for the boys from the nine four nine all right, we're saying, uh, Chan saying, don't sleep on North Carolina football. You got Mallard Creek Mallard in there. Mallard Creek, I believe, is chilling at number 10, so they are in the top 10 rankings, too. So, yeah. And uh, they got this guy, Ryan Jones, one of the best athletes in the country in a 2017 North Carolina commit, so he's not going too far for the next level. All right, people saying, don't sleep on Dwyer High School out of I'm not going to be able to get any or sleep. A, or a Bobka. You got to watch out for these teams. And also, Roswell, the team yeah. from Georgia, they're they're the number one rated team in all of Georgia, yeah, that's sitting at number five in our rankings, too. So, uh, And they, they looked good last week against Colquitt County. They had a Colquitt County their worst loss in quite some yeah, time. Yeah, it was a blowout, wasn't yeah, it? it was, uh, I believe it was 34-6 final. Roswell's nice, though. They got the safety, Xavier McKinney. He's big time. All right, you're looking at the full top 25 rankings right there presented by the Army National Guard. You can see one is Bishop Gorman, IMG at number two, Modern Day three, DeSoto four, and Ro it's Roswell rounding out How about De La Salle last week, too? That game Down against the Servite, yeah. crazy. Pulled it out 28-27. A lot of coaches going for two-point conversions. I guess Coach Del Rio for the Raiders paying attention to what's going on in high school. Worked <laughs> out for him, too. So That's right. You got to go for the win, and they did, and it, it paid off for yes, sir. the boys at De La Salle. All right. So, the top 25, give us one game you're really looking forward to coming up this week. I want to say Gorman and Kahuku, but I'm not. I'm going IMG Academy, St. John's. You got number two versus number 17, and uh, I, I think St. John's going to have a good chance to pull the upset here this weekend. All right, you heard it first. IMG could be on upset alert, but I'm sure they're uh, they're, they're not going to yeah. come out and play soft. Yeah. They're a pretty good football team right there. And that game might have more D1 talent yeah. than just about any other game this year, too. I mean, St. John's is just as loaded as IMG Academy. All right, and just a correction, Will says 34-3. to Roswell beat Colquitt. No TDs for Colquitt. No TDs. So that's a big-time no defensive stand there. for. Thanks for looking out, Will. <laughs> All right. All right, keep the comments coming. Zach always jumps in, loves to hear, even if you're ripping them. <laughs> Take loves, it easy, though. Yeah, All right. He still Take it loves easy, to hear right? because he, we know, hey, we're never going to get everything exactly yeah. perfect. Beauty of high school football, there's upsets each and every yeah. week. So we want to learn about your school, like for example, West Lynn in Oregon. We yeah. appreciate that. We we're going to check them out for sure. That's a team in Oregon to keep an eye on. So keep those comments coming. That's Zach Poff. I'm Steve Montoya. Thank
Thanks for joining us as we break down the Excellent 25 presented by the Army National Guard.